Let me want to switch around. Dying walls. They didn't pull his ass down. They put it all out on the floor. Sounds like a dying book. I know Chandler can see it. It's all like two out of ten. Yeah, I think it's a good one. It's not a good one in their vote for... Jesus. Sounds like Donald Trump winning the presidency. Donald Trump? He's like Dan? Alrighty, we're face topic. Yes. Yes. 46 minutes long, which was nice. Uh, I hope that they start doing them more regularly again. But uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that they that they've talked about. Um, Pokemon tournament was featured because that's what went off. And uh, they talked about how the customization works a bit, which we already knew from Japanese stuff. So it was an American translation for it all. Um, I have glasses, by the way. I'll see you again. Uh, there was uh, Star Fox Zero stuff, talking about amiibo use and like the plot and how the paths branch, kind of like the N64, but it has a new story, new worlds, new uh, enemies, new stuff. Yes. And, uh, the amiibo oh, use the best though. Okay. You see, you, as, like when you tap Fox and you load up the game, literally the R wings are like the maybe ten polygon model that they used in the original Star Fox with the Super Effects chip, and it even has the same sound effects and same animations from when it shoots. Um, it's explosions are literally just like spikes that go like from its charge. I've never played Star Fox. Oh my god, they're amazing. Does it count if you play it on a... Uh, like, like an emulator? Or maybe you're confused. I've played it for like 30 seconds and like it's not so much characters. They're, they're difficult. They're, they're not so much difficult, it's just like, the, the old one was weird, because it was like... The Super FX chip was a 2D system running with 3D models, and it just... It was awkward at times, but uh, it was like, it was the first real like 3D space shootery thing. Like, it was the first time you'd ever had the chance to pilot a ship like that uh, in any type of combat scenario. Well, there were things like pilot wings where you're like, I'm flying the place. And then there's this one, just like, there's tongue stuff. And then, uh, see what else there is. There's a new Kirby game, where Kirby gets new power-ups, of course. Um, including if you use, uh, I forget how you get it, but there's a way you can get, um, a Smash Bros. move okay. set for him, where literally, he, you just use his Smash combinations, and he'll do his, like, Smash Bros. attacks. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, but he also gets a giant robot suit that can change powers too. Now Kirby is my favorite character in Smash. Kirby loves some Kirby. Huh? Kirby is a lovable character. Kirby is glorious. So, yeah, he's a... Uh, you could say I smash with him. You could smash with Kirby. Kirby's a child. I know, he's a... The weight is, you know, Okay. Alright. I was about to say, he's a... He's like a, a universe baby. He's a star baby. I don't know what they're called. Not quite. But, uh... I don't think what else there was. There was, uh... Azure Strike Gunvolt 2. Uh, there was... Lost Reavers. Uh... There was, there was, there was no Pokemon Sun and Moon, as expected, because it's for stuff coming out spring to summer. This chair was always here. Thanks for watching. And look around on on Monday for Jacob's first solo vid since his first solo vid. All right, back. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Google+, where we post behind-the-scenes things, funny pictures, and more. We hope to see you there.